Uh, good afternoon. Um, uh, today I went to the uh, beach and uh, I did some walking and also swam a little bit. So <clears throat> I start, I tried to stay away from uh, most people. It was not too crowded, but it was kind of like uh, more than usual, especially for uh, a weekday like Thursday. Uh, I saw more people than uh, normal, but they were uh, separated, like they were they were not too close. So it was about six feet or more, which is good. Uh, but when I did walking around, um, so I walked on Third Street. People are familiar with Jacksonville. I did some walk on First Street. And I'm going to put in the thumbnail is going to be the uh, Surfer. That's well known, a bar and club here. Uh, they put a sign on the door that the masks are allowed and and uh, and all that. And also, uh, <clears throat> there was another sign, uh, but the the sun was too shining to uh, really get a good picture of it. That they were saying you gotta have a food. Uh, on your uh, tab it's like requirement because they're operating as a restaurant but okay people when they wear a mask inside they're not gonna be having they cannot have the mask the whole time because they're drinking they're eating they're talking whatever with their and and the, the, this type of bar is very hard to really uh, stay away from everybody. So something important came to my mind. That there are a lot of places here in Jacksonville that are open because the owners and the workers have to choose between two things. Dying from COVID or dying from starving. And this, this really uh, has become a very uh, uh, humanitarian and is, it's not a or moral issue now. You should not let people or force people to choose between two things in order to have some money and be able to feed yourself and your family, go out and work and be in danger from COVID. If you want to uh, be safe from COVID, so stay home, but you're going to starve to death because you don't have any income. Most likely you're going to be kicked out of your house too. So people, it's like being homeless and or, or uh, starving to death, even if they can really secure the rent payment or whatever, they're not going to be able to uh, spend on other things. So people should not be in that situation. I believe that there should be help for people and businesses because we care about businesses too. We don't want the business to shut down forever. No, we need the business to be able to stay closed and keep them themselves for a while. But uh, what's going on now it's very hard and and I believe that
people that just support the idea of somebody just because they support him politically, they need to put themselves in other people's situations. Think about other people. It's not about you anymore. Wearing a mask is not about you, it's about other people. If you are really, if you really care about other people, you should care that why they are in situation that they have to go out to put themselves in danger to be able to survive. That's not the best uh, in, in human uh, practice. So I hope people, and I was hoping that COVID would change people, the way people think. It hasn't changed anything. I think it, people got worse and worse. And it, it keeps getting worse because people are getting more selfish. Get out of your own shell. Get out of your own self. Think about other people. Think about what people are going through. The sick people who are dying in the ICU because you supported something that put them in danger. Think about those workers who might get sick and they might get their kids sick. And the, the kids might get the grandparents sick. And, and if the, the mother gets sick, the kids will get sick. Grandparents will get sick. And, and then, so I hope people really think about others. Thank you. Bye-bye.